Hello and welcome to a new YouTube video. My name is Lucas. Today I'm going to be talking about a little winter wish list. I haven't done a wish list video in like, it's been a very long time, but uh, it's kind of like a staple for me when I first started on my channel. So I figured I'd go back in time a little bit, talk about some things that I've been wanting for the winter. Now some of these things I've been wanting for quite some time. Some of these things have just kind of caught my eye recently. Some of them today actually. It's going to be a lot of shoes for some reason, for whatever reason. I don't know, I don't, I don't make the rules, but it's gonna be a lot of shoes in this video. Starting off with two pairs of ASICs. The first pair being a collaboration with a Korean brand called Unaffected. Now they have three colorways, a green, black, a white, black, and like a black silver one. My favorite probably being the green and black one. They feature kind of like a quick lacing system similar to the Salomon XT6, XT4, etc. Now the release process on these uh, today is October 26th as I'm filming this. They are set to start a raffle on October 27th on their Instagram and I believe through another Korean retailer called Fright. I'm not too sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I think that's what it is. And I think the raffle closes on October 30th, but personally I think I'm gonna wait for a global release. I think we'll see a release from select retailers around the world. Maybe ASICS.com. not 100% sure, but, but for me, I'd just rather wait to see if I can get um a global release because I don't want to pay shipping and duties and whatever from Korea. Next is one I definitely want to get. I've been wanting these since Kiko teased them probably back in the spring and that is the ASICS Novalis collection which is a Kiko line within the ASICS brand. Now there's three pairs of shoes, there's a jacket, some pants and I believe a sweatshirt as well. Maybe more, I'm not too sure yet but three pairs of shoes. Uh, I think I want to go for the black and silver pair and then maybe the jacket, I'm not too sure depending on the price. I don't know if they'll do like Kiko ASICS prices because those are expensive. But I know that Kiko designed ASICS that don't have his name attached to it are just like regular ASICS prices. So we'll see. These are releasing November 3rd on ASICS.com. I think they released on Kiko's website a while back and the resale prices are crazy. So finally we're seeing a global release for these products and I'm very excited. Hopefully I can get my hand on a pair of these because I feel like they're going to sell quickly. I don't know how limited stock is but like I said I've been wanting this pair for for months and months, so hopefully I'm able to grab them. If not, it, whatever, I guess. But if there's any pair of shoes, I'd probably want these ones. Another pair of shoes, this time Adidas Sambas. Surprise, surprise, they're still kicking around. But these ones, probably the best Adidas Samba Club I've seen, if not this year, then for the past couple of years. It is with No Title, which is a Chinese creative agency. And these released in September in China, and then they restocked again. I think on October 25th, and I think I get on the 30th or something like that, but it's a China only release right now, or Asia only release, I think in the Adidas app. So no word yet if we're gonna see a global release. I really hope we do because I need a pair. There's four pairs, four colorways. And honestly, at this point, I would take any colorway I can get. I think the green is probably my favorite, and then the blue red, and then the cow, and the pink. But like I said, I'll take any colorway I can get my hands on at this point. I'm not gonna pay resale because I feel like it's gonna be insane. I think these are pretty limited at the moment. Um, hopefully we'll see a, a global release, at least like a US release or European release, I don't know. But I need to get my hands on a pair of these, and that goes without saying. The, they've been kind of quiet about the release on their Instagram. It's been kind of messy and not much information, so we'll see what happens. Something that released today actually as I'm filming this this morning, Supreme Stone Island collaboration. Personally, I thought it was really well done. I liked a few of the pieces. The prices were outrageous, but my favorite two pieces had to be the the leather jacket, um, $2,500 US dollars, which is ridiculous, but I was, it was expected. And it actually sold out, so whatever, but I like it. The detachable head is cool. The subtle back graphic is nice. And then another piece I also enjoyed was the cardigan, $500 US. Pretty steep, but expected it with Stone Island pieces. Thought it was nice. You got the you got the typical patch on the side, and then the back hit, which was kind of loud but subtle at the same time. You couldn't really see it, especially on the white one. I'm not sure if you can see on the picture here, but it's nice, it's cool. Um, I did not go for anything because, like I said, the prices were a bit too high for me, but I liked it from afar. Uh, for the winter, I don't know, this is not really a winter thing, but I just want more vintage football shirts. I've been looking for a few uh, for the past few months. I haven't been able to find anything that I like in my price range and my size, etc. I would like an R9. Brazil or Inter, Ronaldinho, Brazil. I know it's like kind of a TikTok trendy. It's kind of like a, a meme at this point, the Ronaldinho, Ronaldo one, but I still really want one. Or a Ronaldinho, Barcelona. Eto, I want. I really want an Eto, Inter or Barca. 
Um, Saturday's football dropped a Eto Inter one a few months ago and I just forgot about it. I missed it. Um, I also want Messi, Barca, probably like an older one. Some more vintage Arsenal ones, of course. And then a Beckham. I don't want, I would never wear a United shirt, so no. Uh, probably not England one either. So maybe a Real, AC Milan, or uh, PSG Beckham if I can find one for a good price. Now next up, a piece of clothing actually. These are a pair of pants from a brand called Maybe Tomorrow. Unfortunately, I don't have a picture, I don't have a name, or any information really. Okay, so I did some digging and I found on Mark's Instagram actually, these are from his other brand called Open Bar Funeral, and he did post a video, so I screen recorded it and I'll post it up here as I'm talking, but besides that, I don't know any information on it, when it's gonna release or anything like that, but it's for Open Bar Funeral, so check it out. Uh, Mark, the founder of the brand, posted them on his story about a week or two ago. They're really nice, just like black. I think they're like workwear pants, but the shape is really nice. The materials look nice, the fit looks nice. That's, but that's all I really have at the moment. Um, he hasn't posted anything else on Instagram or anything like that. So unfortunately, I can't really talk on them too much, but they look really nice from what I saw. I should have taken a screenshot, but I just didn't for whatever reason. And then I would like some vintage Oakley stuff. I know Oakley had a huge year, a huge 2023, and I really like their vintage pieces, their t-shirts, the glasses, the hats. Um, obviously, coming into winter, I don't really need to be wearing t-shirts or hats, but I really want some vintage Oakley tees or hats. Um, Akimbo Club is doing a drop on Friday. I feel like the prices are going to be quite high, so I'll probably just go eBay or Grailed and try to find something. I found a few on eBay and Grailed, but I just haven't pulled the trigger on them yet. But maybe coming into winter, people will lower their prices, and then maybe I'll be able to scoop one. Another thing that's actually sold out now, but that is the LaFleur Lacoste collection, Tyler the Creator's brand. Did a collaboration with Lacoste, and personally, I'm a big fan. I really liked the button up polo, it looks very nice, very classy, very put together, incredible. And then the cardigan, I love cardigans, and this one is just something different that I don't have. So, I might try to wait, see if I can find a restock, and pick one up. Uh, it is a bit pricey, but it's Lacoste, and I think the materials look incredible, the colors are beautiful, and the fit looks really nice. It's like a kind of like a kind of like a granny cardigan, more so than like a, a mohair one or like one that I currently have right now, so it's definitely something I need in my closet, in my wardrobe. I think, I think it would just be perfect for the fall, for the winter, and even for the springtime. And then the Varsity jacket. I never actually really saw the Varsity until a few days ago, but it looks really nice. I love a good Varsity. And again, the colors are incredible. The shape, the fit looks amazing. Another thing that I just saw today that is apparently dropping tomorrow, so by the time this video comes out, I hopefully will have a few of these things on the way. It's actually already, re already live now in Adidas Malaysia. That is an Arsenal and Maharishi collab. I didn't even know this existed until this morning, like I said, but they got some jerseys, shorts, jackets, just like pre-match stuff. They're not going to wear it during game, but I think they're going to be wearing it pre-match. I think they wore it pre-match a few games ago, and it kind of got leaked from that. But I would love to pick up the jacket. It looks very nice, and the back hit is incredible. Apparently, it's also reversible, so you can't really go on there. Two jackets for the price of one. Like I said, the back hit is amazing. Might try and grab the shorts as well, because I don't really have any like home shorts or just chilling shorts right now. And I love the shorts, and then the long sleeve jersey is really nice. So, um, you know me, big Arsenal fan, and I love Maharishi as well. I have a kimono of theirs from a few years ago, and I've had it for a while. I really like what they do. Incredible brand. So when they came together for a collaboration, you already know I need to, need to pick up some pieces. The last thing, last but certainly not least, the Sean Witherspoon Gazelles, the green hemp ones. Now he actually posted on his Instagram yesterday or this morning. Not too sure, but he said they are going to be releasing in a few weeks, so take that for what you will. I'm not too sure on the stock level, uh, or if it was going to be like a US only thing. I think the last pair was US only confirmed. I don't think they dropped in Canada. Not too sure what Europe either, but um, honestly, I think if there's one pair of shoes I needed from this video, it would be the Sean Witherspoon Gazelles. I think they're just incredible. I know some people kind of don't like Sean anymore. I think he's kind of corny from switching from Nike to Adidas. However, I'm indifferent. Um, I met him once in round two in LA a few years ago. He was nice. And the, the Adidas shoes he's done, specifically the Gazelles, are incredible. Obviously his Air Maxes were amazing, but these Gazelles, I think, are on par with the Air Maxes. They're beautiful, they're incredible. The materials look cool. The colorway is amazing, just something different. Similar to the Notalo Sambas, I think between those two, it'd be very, very, very close. But I think I'd go with the Shans, just because they seem more attainable at this point. But we'll see. He said there's gonna be quite a few pairs, so hopefully, I'm able to get my hands on them. Hopefully you're able to get your hands on them if you want them. Like I said, two weeks or a few weeks out. So 
I don't know, we'll see. But I think Adidas will start rolling them out soon, hopefully. Um, so yeah, that's my winter wish list, I guess, if you will. Um, hopefully, we'll see how the, how the, the bank situation is um, right now. It's not looking. We'll see how the finances are looking, but if I can get my hands on a few of these things, like I said, I'll be happy. Um, try, still trying to sell some things, so yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.